Welcome to the exclusive Dallas Cowboys News Channel. Today, we bring you exciting details about the team's recent moves and the strategies they're implementing for the upcoming NFL season. The Cowboys are determined to bolster their defense with promising and accessible talent. Recently, they signed Willie Harvey Jr., who won the UFL Championship with the Stallions and had an outstanding last season with 3.5 sacks, one tackle for loss, and two forced fumbles in 10 games. The team is also in talks to work with Derek Roberson, another player from the UFL, according to James Larson of Pro Football Network. Roberson, though having had brief stints in the NFL with the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans, has accumulated 26 tackles, 4.5 sacks, and one forced fumble in his NFL career. His recent season with the D.C. Defenders in the UFL was impressive, recording 31 tackles, 4.5 sacks, and 4 tackles for loss. However, he will face intense competition to secure a spot on the Cowboys' final 53-man roster. At the start of the offseason, the Cowboys had an evident need for a frontline pass rusher after veterans like Dorrance Armstrong and Dante Fowler found new teams in free agency. Despite this, in the 2024 NFL Draft, they opted to select Marshawn Neeland in the second round. Neeland is known for his outstanding career at Western Michigan, where he started 23 games as an edge rusher and amassed an impressive total of 148 tackles, 27.5 tackles for loss, 13 sacks, 3 passes defended, and 3 forced fumbles. In addition to Neyland, the Cowboys boast a solid defensive lineup led by stars like Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence. Promising players like Sam Williams, Viliami Fihoko, and Tyrus Wheat are also ready to make significant contributions in the upcoming season. The arrival of Roberson and the strategic pick of Neyland promise to intensify competition during training camp, providing more depth and options to the defensive line. Fans can expect an exciting battle for the final roster spots, with these new players bringing their energy and skills to further strengthen the team's defense. Stay tuned for more updates and exclusive analysis on how these moves will impact the Dallas Cowboys' performance in the upcoming NFL season. Thanks for following us, and don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content about the team. Go Cowboys! Breaking news in football! The Dallas Cowboys might trade Dak Prescott after the 2024 season, asterisk, asterisk. The future of quarterback Dak Prescott with the Dallas Cowboys is hanging by a thread, and rumors about his potential departure from the team are intensifying. After several years of ups and downs and disappointments in crucial moments, owner and general manager Jerry Jones might be considering drastic changes for his team if results do not improve significantly after the upcoming NFL season. The Dallas Cowboys, one of the league's most iconic and followed teams, have struggled to meet expectations in recent years despite having a talented roster. Jerry Jones, known for his limited patience, has made it clear that he expects much more from his team. The primary goal for the 2024 season is to win the NFC East and make a deep playoff run, with hopes of reaching the Super Bowl and finally winning the coveted championship. However, these goals are ambitious and far from guaranteed. If the Cowboys fail to make significant playoff progress this year, Dak Prescott might be forced to leave the team. The pressure on Prescott is enormous, as he is expected to be the leader who guides the team to success. However, if he fails to meet expectations, Jerry Jones might seek a new direction for the franchise. In this context, rumors have emerged about who could replace Prescott as the Cowboys quarterback. A surprising name that has come up in conversations is Kirk Cousins, the current quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. This speculation has been fueled by ESPN analyst Bill Barnwell, who suggests that Cousins could be a viable option for the Cowboys. According to Barnwell, Dallas might be willing to pay Cousins a significant sum, although it would be considerably less than what Prescott might demand in a new contract. Barnwell proposes that the Cowboys could commit to paying Cousins at least $37.5 million for one year of work with $27.5 million guaranteed in 2025 and another $10 million guaranteed for 2026, regardless of whether he remains on the roster. If Cousins stays, the Cowboys would pay him $72.5 million over two years, averaging $36.3 million per season. This figure is just over half of what Prescott is projected to earn per year in his new contract. The idea of Cousins becoming the new quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys depends on several factors. 
Firstly, Cousins is recovering from an Achilles tendon injury and will need to prove throughout the 2024 season that he can return to his pre-injury star form. Additionally, the Atlanta Falcons would need to be willing to let go of their veteran quarterback and move on to Michael Penix Jr., his potential successor. While trading Prescott for Cousins might seem like a step back in terms of talent and skills, committing to a massive long-term contract with Prescott might not be a prudent decision if the Cowboys do not truly believe in him as their leader. The decision to move Prescott and consider Cousins reflects the harsh reality of managing an NFL team where financial and performance decisions are intrinsically linked. The Cowboys' performance in the 2024 season will be crucial in determining not only Prescott's future but also the potential replacement options. If things do not go well for Dallas, it would not be surprising to see Kirk Cousins leading the Cowboys' offense in the 2025 campaign. This possible move adds an extra level of intrigue and pressure to the already intense Dallas Cowboys season, where every game and every decision could have significant implications for the team's future. Breaking NFL News C.D. Lamb, star receiver for the Dallas Cowboys, could be traded to the Kansas City Chiefs, asterisk asterisk. The Dallas Cowboys might be changing the course of their franchise with a surprising move. They are considering sending their talented receiver C.D. Lamb to the Kansas City Chiefs in a massive trade proposal. Lamb, who has made spectacular plays for the Cowboys, is in the midst of a contract dispute with the team, prompting them to explore alternative options. Lamb's future in Dallas has been in doubt due to his salary demands and the team's priority to renew their star quarterback, Dak Prescott. With the market for star receivers reaching high prices this offseason, the Cowboys might opt to secure young assets and draft picks instead of facing a prolonged negotiation with Lamb. The Kansas City Chiefs, on the other hand, would see Lamb as the perfect complement to their offense led by Patrick Mahomes, providing an additional threat that could alleviate pressure on other key receivers like Travis Kelsey. Although the Chiefs have proven they can win without a dominant receiver, acquiring Lamb could significantly strengthen their attack. While the trade seems unlikely, the possibility of C.D. Lamb changing teams is on the table, shaking up the NFL market and leaving fans speculating about the talented player's future. And there you have it, Cowboys Nation. From strategic defensive moves to hot rumors about the future of Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb, the Dallas Cowboys are in the eye of the storm this offseason. What do you think about these crucial changes and decisions? Leave us your comments below, subscribe for more exclusive updates, and don't forget to like if you're as excited as we are about what's coming. Let's go, Cowboys! This closing not only summarizes the key points of your news, but also invites viewers to actively participate, subscribe, and share their opinions on the topics discussed in the video.